Messages from your Lord, Yugi Jesus. Enter in the code Yugi Jesus on metabats.com for 10% off of your order. You may also enter in the code Yugi Jesus on ldbduel.com for $5 off of your order. Today is the spooky day, Halloween. Yes, I'm even recording this today. Let's try to get this video up like I said I would. Let's get all of these terrible, horrible Yu Gi Oh! sins and confessions out there on the interwebs. Let's just get started, shall we? I already got the sponsors out of the way. If you guys want to leave me your sins and confessions, go to my Discord server, link is down in the description. There's a confessions channel on my Discord that I stay out of just for these videos. I have not seen any of the confessions. I know that there's a lot in there, but I have not seen any of them. I'm gonna get them open right now, and we're just gonna start up. Ramstein fan, who is Till, by the way. Till runs the Yugi Nono TikTok. He does a fantastic job. It's the best TikTok on all of TikTok by like, like so much it's not even measurable. <laughs> Anyways. He says, forgive me for I have sinned. I annoyed my Lord Yuki Jesus until he fixed a crooked card on his wall. That is a true story. That is a true story. After I made the last confessions video, he did annoy me in the group chat until I sent him a picture of the card that was crooked being corrected. That happened. The, the, the things that Till does, I, I, I don't know. The count says, forgive me for I have two sins today. I locked out tier limit, tier limit players all day with King Tiger Wang Hu while killing them with ancient gear. I could have OTK'd them, but I made them suffer instead of, <laughs> for I am a jackass. This is the second and worst sin. I milled out a 60 card Egyptian God deck thing piloted by some little kid. Oh no, no, you can't, you can't raffle stomp little kids. Oh no, using Infernoid Lair because I was in a bad mood that day and viruses are funny. Oh, don't be mean to kids. Don't be like rough. You can't, you, come on, that, that is a little bit of a sin. I mean, kids have to learn, you know, people have to learn how to play, but uh, don't, don't be mean to kids, come on. And King Tiger Wanger is just a classic. That, that's hilarious that that card's been around for, I mean, like, it feels like a hundred years now. People play it in GOAT format, and uh, it's, it's still relevant, because it's, it's, a, it's a Floodgate card, you know? It's a, it's a monster Floodgate. He's, uh, he's kind of like Kaiku, in a way, you know? There's a lot of uh, level four monsters that are like, uh, you know, utility monsters and floodgates and stuff, and, uh, and he's just one of them. It's just, it's just a good card. Georgie Boy 14 says, I have sent I main deck anti spell fragrance and dark samorg at a locals recently. Random Jack says, I am not sure if this is a sin or not, but I play decks solely because of their art style and how cute they are. Weeb, it's kidding. <laughs> and that's why I like Dragon Maids. But yeah, weeb. <laughs> but there is no sin for playing decks that you like. It is a little bit of a sin to like rob competition, so to speak. How like a lot of competitive players get mad when people play random and rogue stuff because they want um, a good match and they want people to be. Uh, they they want to figure out. They actually want to solve a format. They actually want to figure out a format. And when people play rogue stuff, it can kind of. It does, it does mess with the results, you know, it messes with the sample size and stuff, you know, it messes with the, uh, with the analytics, if you will. So, uh, there is a sin there a little bit, but not really, because who the fuck cares It's a card game? It's a kid's card game, you see what I'm saying? So, like, why? Cap says, forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. There was a 13-year-old kid at my local tourney that I played that was playing Nordics. Ooh. That's not a good deck. <laughs> I was playing Grinmaju OTK. I tried not to, but I still ended up smashing him. He was down and I felt bad. Look, kids gotta learn. You know, people have to learn. As long as you're not like a dick, like, oh, I totally fucking smashed you. Your deck sucks. Blah, blah, blah. I'm, a, I'm a weirdo. As long as you're not doing that to somebody, there's no sin. Like, if you actually absolutely demolish somebody and go, hey, you know, this is just a bad matchup for your deck. You know what I mean? I, I played this at the right time. That's, that's what happened. You know, blah, blah, blah. You know, if you talk it out and, you, and you're just, I don't know, normal with people. It's completely fine. <laughs> Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned a long time ago. I dueled against my older cousin with a stacked deck and obviously beat him. Convinced him to duel me again on the condition that we switch decks and I still beat him. Why'd you stack? Don't cheat. That is a sin. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. When I was little, around the time I was in elementary school, this one's gotta be good. I didn't actually know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. That's the same as the rest of us, dog. <laughs> So I, I would personally role play in my head with the cards all and make up stories with them. At one point, my dark magician died in the story, so to make it feel authentic, I ended up ripping my original Yuki starter deck, dark magician, hollow in half. Ooh. To this day, I'm still salty at doing, doing that to myself. That is intense, dude. 
You were so into it. That's like Raphael or something from the show. You were that into it. That is cool. That is a sin because, you know, that's a that's a cool card to have. An OG Dark Magician started at Yugi First Dead. Hopefully First Dead. It's a cool card to have, man. That's a cool card to have. Do not rip up cards. I mean, just as a general rule of thumb, don't. This story is really cool. No sin. No sin. But don't rip up cards. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I honestly don't mind if we don't have volcanic support or not. I highly doubt they'll ever be relevant anyway. Actually, uh, volcanics were a meta deck in Necroz format 2015. They were, they were a good deck. They were a good deck in 2015. They have been relevant before. They've been relevant. They're relevant in. Uh, and Edison, Volcanics are relevant in Edison and other formats, so they've been relevant before, so don't say that, 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 that they'll ever be relevant, because they have been relevant already. But it is a sin because Pain has been working very hard. <laughs> Hello again, Yugi Jesus. It's me, ya boy. Sorry, but this is an, uh, yet another long one. That's fine. Hopefully it's an actual sin. No, it's not, some of these have been sins, but a lot of them have been... Uh, just really cool stories, you know, just innocent, cool stories, which I appreciate as well. Those are, you know, a lot of the childhood ones, I, those are some of my favorite ones, so leave me those too, guys. I, I do appreciate those, that's why I read them and show them on camera, because they're cool. I think we've all been there with some of those childhood memories, you know, uh, not knowing that Potty Greaves at one or banned and playing three of it, you know, uh, uh, MST negates, etc, 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 you know, the, the tropes. The person from the previous confession I shall for now on refer to as James. My brother and I used to not really get along due to the seven year age difference between us. When I had moved out, he was caught in the middle of a messy divorce between our parents. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That, that, that shit happens. He reached out to me to learn how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! as a way for us to get closer. The Dark Law deck had just dropped and I brought him a deck to learn. He ended up pulling a severely miscut Dark Law. That's kind of cool. He was so excited. I had to leave for about 10 minutes to go pick up a friend and told my brother I would be right back. While I was gone, James arrived and saw my brother as a new target. While on my way back, I got a call from my friend who owned the store that they were going through bags to find my brother's Dark Law. When I arrived, they had me help check bags. I immediately went to James. Within 45 seconds, I found my brother's card. Before I had a chance to get a word out, he said that he didn't do it. He then pointed at my friend, who I had just picked up. Man, I am sweating with these lights. Oh my gosh, do you guys see this? So not only did he steal from my little brother, but he tried putting the blame on my best friend, who also happens to be the only black guy at Locals who, hasn't even who wasn't even there when it happened. Oh, that's rough, but... From that point on, I made it my goal to screw him over in any way I could and wouldn't interfere if someone else was doing something sketchy to him. Ooh, that's some... Man, two wrongs don't make a right though, right? But uh, then again, vengeance is so sweet and some people deserve it. <laughs> My brother no longer wanted to play Yu-Gi-Oh and just wanted to go home, that's sad. We did, however, bond over the card game Kaijudo, never heard of it, and he got it really good at it and would eventually pick up Yu-Gi-Oh in the form of Duel Links and Master Duel, that's good. Up until that point, I had done my best to be nice to James even though I knew he was a thief, that's, that's all you can do. I would invite him to hang out after locals, even paid for him to enter his first regionals. I don't know if knowing it was my brother would have stopped him, but that was the end for me. Yeah, some people are kleptos, man. Some people are kleptos, and they're kleptos for uh, reasons that only they understand and they don't even know that they understand it. Um, what I'm getting at is mental illness and people's behaviors. Um, really nuanced. Mental illness is crazy. People need help in different ways, you know? Kleptos need help just like people that, that do drugs need help, you know? All kinds of stuff. Mental illness is just crazy. <laughs> the only sin I found is letting him get ripped off, you know, as a payback. But, I mean, he kind of has it coming, so it's not that big of a sin, but may, look, man. Just maybe show him some kindness until he knocks it off. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. King Crimson says, Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I committed the greatest sin of all Yu-Gi-Oh kind. We'll see about that. Once upon a time, I may or may not have jokingly sent a group of beans with the... Jokingly sent a group of beans with all of them coincidentally named Jerry to the best Yugi tuber Thank you, by the way. <laughs> and they may or may not have come to life and ruined his life for a few months, giving him PTSD in the process until he had to confront the King Bean so he could finally regain his sanity and his hat. Please forgive me, my lord. <laughs> I, was, I was but a boy at the time. 
All is forgiven, the beans have been long defeated. That was a long, long time ago, and they'll probably never return. They were, they were a challenge for sure, but for Yuki Jesus, not really a challenge at all. I did go a little crazy though. <laughs> H14T says, forgive me Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned. A couple years ago, I used scrap iron scarecrow trap on my friend. I did not read the card and rulings about it correctly back in the day, and I thought I could use it on every single attack during. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's dude, everybody's done that. <laughs> like resetting scrap iron scarecrow, like the show. Oh, everybody's done that. There's no sin there. That's like the gating with the you know Mastina gates and all, all the tropes, man. Stuff that we've that we've all done. I'm glad that you left that though. That's that's another one that I forget about. Is you know people thinking that scrap iron scarecrow can just keep activating. Yeah. It's just just once during the battle phase, it'd be broken if you could keep resetting it. Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, I have sinned. I was in a tag team uh, tournament. My partner was using Mystic Mind and I was using Blue. We went undefeated and we resolved Final Countdown twice. <laughs> that is dirty. Yeah, that's a little bit of a sin. Playing Final Countdown and who? If you're playing Final Countdown, you are playing something that stalls like a motherfucker. <laughs> like, that is. Ooh, that's a sin. That's dirty. Yeah, I gotta go do some. Yeah, go repent for that. <laughs> Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I started replaying the first Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Gi -Oh! GX Tag Force game and was FTK'd by Chumley in my very first <laughs> anti confession from Albaz. I do not care for my sins. Insert evil laughter here. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The Kingsman says, when I was 14, I was dueling against a friend and I was about to lose. I synchro summoned Formula Synchron and drew synchro material. Blah, blah, blah. My friend had recently obtained a Stardust Dragon, so I convinced him to Synchro Summon it using the monsters he would have won the game with, only for me to flip the trap and activate Formula Synchro's effect to summon Shooting Star Dragon using his monster. I won the next turn. Yeah, maybe don't listen to your opponent. That's a sin on his part for, for listening to his opponent, which is you, and you tricking him. I mean, it's a sin that you tricked him, but it's also a sin on him for being tricked. Get smarter! Forgive me, Yugi Jesus. I made a Flounderese kid a player super salty after making Stealth Kraken and then proceeding to make everything on the field water, and then Flip goes in <laughs> and the kid proceeded to slow play me until the timer went to zero by locals, making him waterlocked. That's yeah, that's that is what he gets for playing Flounder, Kaloon says. That is what he gets. That, that, that's, that's a really good deck, but wow. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I love abusing Mystic Mind and Artifacts. <laughs> I like Artifact Sight just fine. I, th you know, I, I like Mystic Mind just fine too, but like way to a less degree, you know, way less, way less. Artifact Sight is actually just a fair and fine card to me. People are gonna get mad at me and, and say that, that, that that's a, a bad take or whatever, but I don't know. I think I nailed it in my ban list video where, you know, I made him quiet and he doesn't do anything unless he's, you know, prompted to. It's, it's pretty much the tale. It's, it's, it's literally the card. That's why I did that character that way is because you have to have, like, Sight doesn't do anything on his own. You have to have Sanctum or, or something. Like, if you draw, you don't want to draw Sight. And that, that's that's the giveaway that it's not a good card because you don't want to draw it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's not that good. Like, it's a good card, but it's like not that good of a card. <laughs> like, it's the other cards. But but uh, you, you don't want to ban like Artifact uh, Sanctum though and stuff because there's no, there's no problem with Sanctum. So it would be, it would be Sight that would have to get banned, but there's also nothing wrong with Artifact Sight. So it's, I don't know, we'll see what they do about it, if they if they do anything about it. Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned. Here's my Game Boy Slifer, the executive producer. Ooh, that's damaged. Yeah, I'm gonna scroll past that. Ew. Captain Bible says, forgive me, Yu-Gi-Oh Jesus, for I have sinned. When I was in high school, a girl asked me out to the homecoming dance. So she asked you? What? I said no and told her that I had locals that day, so I couldn't go. I proceeded to go 07 lost. <laughs> What the? Why? With with the Cyber Dragon deck profile you taught me. I am so sorry. But it's your fault for turning down a girl that asked you out. That's what you get. <laughs> the worst part is that local was ended at 5 p.m. and the homecoming dance started at 6 p.m. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Like that one got worse the more I read it. Benjamin C. Dover down here still posting degenerate deck profiles. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Final sin. Captain Bible. This. All right, all right. This is back to back. All right. Oh, Yuki Jesus on high. I have one additional sin to confess from yesterday. I was at a tournament and I beat this guy in round one. However, I got a weird vibe from the way he was acting, and I can only assume he was trying to hide his salt. The next game, he seemed to draw a perfect hand. <laughs> he probably stacked and used a card effect wrong. Ooh, 
He also drew more cards from his deck when I when he thought I wasn't looking. Oh, he's cheating. I might have glasses, but I have really good peripheral vision. Instead of calling the judge, though, I proceeded to embarrass him by shattering his board and giving him the old power bond razzle dazzle. Oh man, power bond OTK to teach him a lesson that even if he cheats, he is still a third rate duelist with a fourth rate deck. Oh my gosh, that is go okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That was a hell of a good way to end the Halloween Yu-Gi-Oh! Confessions Sins special. I call it Yu-Gi-Oh! Confessions. Some people call it Yu-Gi-Oh! Sins. I think it's Confessions, you know. I'm Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus. I'm not Catholic or anything, but you know, that's the whole confessional thing. You know, if you're Catholic, you go confess. Anyways, that's why I call it Confessions. Dude, that was wonderful. You just made this video end so strong. That was such a strong note to end this video on. And I'm the Cyber Dragon. I'm the Cyber Dragon guy, dude. You power mind? Oh my gosh, that was perfect. That was, oh, I'm so happy now. That was epic. This video, oh man, I'm so happy. I'm already happy with this video. I don't even start editing it yet. I'm already happy with it. This is kick ass. All right, guys. Metamats has a sale going on. This is today's Halloween, though. So it's going to be like last moment for you guys. But they do have a sale going on. Go to metamats.com, enter in the code YugiJesus, get 10% off. I'm still so giddy with that last sin, guys. Dick slap that like button and subscribe. I'm out. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Ooh, I could do a better weevil than that. Happy Halloween! <laughs> a little better. I'm out. Happy Halloween, guys. Subscribe!